Welcome into the Fantasy Focus CSS DFS podcast. Today's show is presented by Geico. Switch to Geico see all the ways that you could save. It is Mike Clay and I hanging out here today. Yes. Usually Al Zeidenfeld joins us, Mike, all the way from Los Angeles, but Al's not here today. Yeah, he's, he's like, it's week 15, I'm done. I'm just taking oh, a week is that off. What he's, I, think th- I don't think that's what he's doing, though. You don't think so? I don't think so. All right, so. what's he doing then? Well, I think what he's doing is he's still playing Daily Fantasy, but okay. he's doing it in New Orleans, Ooh. Louisiana for the okay. DraftKings Rainmakers World Championship right now. Al Zeidenfeld has two lineups available for the World Championship for Rainmakers here mm-hmm. in week 15. Really pumped for Al. Did you know Me that too. he could win up to two hundred and fifty thousand dollars? That seems good. And this he's he just like he's on the show to get advice from us, so he should probably share that with us. Yeah, I exactly. Think. I think that's right. what it is. Yeah. yeah. No. Uh, yeah, we're wishing him well. I hope we. He's obviously a professional. He does this for a living, and he's really good at it. And that's why he's there. So and good that's luck, why Al. He's there. Absolutely. Yeah. This is why we trust Al every single week. Read his best mm-hmm. buys column this week. Our good friend Kyle Soppy wrote best buys for it. We'll talk uh, about that a little bit later on in the show. However, send Al a tweet at Al Zeidenfeld. Say good luck and congratulations on making it there. Hopefully, he can bring home some cash mm-hmm. for the fantasy focus family all right let's do it let's talk week 14 recap nope, mike let's not do that real quick i beat you very fast it was a good one i had a good week and you did um, you crushed it i had a down week i real. i look here finally, was my mistake you finally had one down week mike here, you literally hugged me last week on That's ff now because yep. i used two lions yep. and you know how well that went for me it didn't it was like my worst week of the yeah, season. that's it yeah, yeah. That's what happens. and deandre swift let me down it was a rough one um, and I had, I had Judy too. Like yeah, he was he a did. late swap and he had three touchdowns. That was like my whole team. Yeah. I started Jamison Williams, DJ Chark and Justin Jackson. And it worked out fine. <laughs> it worked for out me, great. Which for great. Yeah. <laughs> so we nailed it. Uh, shout out to Brad to Badger, 212.7 points in our tournament. Holy cow. That was incredible. Uh, join our free league over at DraftKings right now. You mm-hmm. can still do it. We still have a league that you can join to play against Mike and I head to head thousand dollars in free prizes. Follow at Mike Clay NFL. I am at Daniel Dopp. Mike is up on me 10 to 4. 10 to 4, trucker. Season? Yep. Wait, you calling from a walkie talkie? I am. Over and out. <laughs> Over and out. All I'm right, leaving. let's talk about our week 15 slate. Mike, we're going to talk okay. quarterbacks here. We're going to start there with Jalen Hurts because, of course, you want to start with the Philadelphia Eagles. Why not? Yeah, of course. And, you know, I thought about paying down. We're going to talk about some more uh, other value options here. Um, I know you're going to roll that direction, but. Um, I decided the way the lineup worked out, there's enough value at receiver and even tight end that I could pay up for Jalen Hurts this week at wow. 8,200. He is the highest priced uh, quarterback, but he, look, he's averaging just a hair under 27 fantasy points per game, 30 or more in three straight, 20 or more in seven straight. We want a high floor in cash. That's what we get from Jalen Hurts. Two or more total touchdowns in nine straight games. Do you know he already matches carry and his rushing touchdown totals from last season? So it's like a month left to go That's here. Crazy. He's already done that damage in. Uh, facing Chicago, the fewest pass attempts faced this season, but the 14th most fantasy points allowed. They have struggled with efficiency. The third highest yards per pass attempt, five quarterback rushing touchdowns at his second most. Obviously, mm-hmm. Jalen Hurts delivers in that department. Uh, and here's the thing. You might be wondering, why have they faced so little pass attempts? Why are they mid-pack in fantasy points allowed, uh, despite the fact that you know they haven't played well? It's the quarterbacks they face. They have not faced a single quarterback who's top 10 in fantasy points this season. Really? Cousin, Kirk Cousins, Tua Tonga Viola, Dak Prescott. They're the best quarterbacks they have faced this season. All of them reach 22 fantasy points. And so whenever they wow. face like a borderline startable quarterback in fantasy, they have struggled. And Jalen Hurts is by far the best one they face. So he's set up for a big game here. And that price point, and if you just look at the raw point totals allowed, you know, people might not be on him as much as uh, sure. another week. We'll see how it works out, but I, I think he's worth paying up for. Yeah, a lot of times trying to find a way to pay down at quarterback just a little bit, but still get value. But Jalen Hurts here, yeah. you just laid out all the reasons why mm-hmm. we like him. If you want to go with a cheaper option uh, and a little spoiler alert for my tournament double stack, I'm looking at Mike White, hoping mm-hmm. that he plays this week. $5,400 against the Detroit Lions. He is top five in attempts, completions, and passing yards since taking over as the starting quarterback three weeks ago. And Mike, he gets the Detroit Lions who are awful, 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 fact, awful against the pass. So on this slate, he is the 12th highest priced quarterback, 12th highest priced quarterback in spite of the fact that the Detroit Lions give up more points than any other team in the NFL. I'll tell you what, $5,400, super cheap price point. All we got to do, we've been talking about this Mm -hmm. with Stefania all week long. 
All we got to do is monitor his rib injury, see where he's at as far as how things go. We think he's going to play this week, but really, really great pricing based on this Lions matchup. Yeah, and the game plan against the Lions right now is uh, throw the ball because they are stopping times. the run. This is two months now. They've been shutting down opposing running back rooms. So you come into that game and you think we're going to attack the perimeter. We're going to throw the ball. That's their weak spot. And I mean, White, the last two weeks is over 100 pass attempts. Yep. He's one touchdown, I believe. Or is it, is it zero passing, one, one rushing? One, yeah. A little very, very fluky. Uh, but yeah, he's going to throw it a ton if he's healthy for this game. I'm yep. with you. Yep. Uh, we will probably talk about his pass catchers here a little bit later on, but I let's talk so. about running backs here first, Mike. And you've got Derrick Henry, 8,000. You went from Jalen Hurts at 8,200 mm-hmm. to Derrick Henry at running back at 8,000. I can't wait to see the rest of your lineup. Uh-huh. We're going to fit him in. Uh, Henry, well worth it. He's facing the Chargers, and we always want to pick on the Chargers, right? Mm-hmm. There's just that handful of uh, teams that cannot stop the run that we want to pick on. Six most fantasy points to running back, second most over expected. So if you adjust for volume, they're even worse. Second most rushing yards. 5.5 yards per carry allowed. That is worse in the NFL. That is a stat that's perfect for Derrick Henry. We know that he's going to do so much of his damage on the ground. Check this out. The Chargers have allowed at least 125 rushing yards just to running backs in nine of their last 11 games. Now they're facing oh. one of the highest volume, best running backs in the NFL. Henry got back on track last week. He had a good matchup against Jacksonville. What did he do? 155 yards and a touchdown on 20 touches. He has now at least 20 touches in four of his last five games. And check this out. Right. One of the things, what's, what do we use to pick on Derrick Henry for? Uh, not catching passes. Exactly. Five targets That's last week. Huge. Dontrell Hilliard is generally the guy that they'll bring him once in a while to soak up a few targets. He actually had a couple of receiving touchdowns this season or, or big plays. He's out, right? He's not going to play in this game. So it's Hassan Hoskins is next, next up on the depth chart. I mean, Henry could see five more targets and have 20 carries in yeah. this game. So he's set up for a huge game. Great matchup. Eight K is the price point. Can he get you 24 fantasy points and pay that off? Of course course. he can. He might get to 30 in this game. So loving Derrick Henry this week. I also love Derrick Henry this week. And for me, on the other side of that, I was looking for a running back to maybe if I spent up at running back for Derrick Henry, who can I spend a little less money on? Mm -hmm. For me, that was Isaiah Pacheco. Isaiah Pacheco, $5,900 taking on the Houston Texans. He has 15 or more touches in five straight games. He Mm -hmm. is being utilized in this offense. Now, Jarek McKinnon is not going anywhere. But guess what? As a part of this, Isaiah Pacheco has sort of taken on at least a little bit of the passing game work over the last couple of weeks, which is what we have been looking at. That unlocks so much Mm -hmm. in fantasy, Mike Clay. And it's not just about that. It's about this matchup against the Houston Texans, who are worst against uh, 32nd in the league uh, in points scored for fantasy running backs. Like, they're just awful. You just lock him in. Sub $6,000. There's so many reasons why I love Isaiah Pacheco this mm-hmm. week. Yeah, Houston's so shorthanded offensively. They're probably not going to be able to score much in this game. It should be a run-heavy game for the Chiefs. It's going to be a ton of Pacheco, who could reach 20 carries yep. in this game. And uh, he also had a season I three targets last week, too. So, I'm with you. I mean, 5900 Totally reasonable price point for what you're going to get out of him in this matchup. Yeah. All right. Let's talk about a couple other running backs that we mm-hmm. like as well this week. We got James Conner at $6,900 yeah. taking on the Denver Broncos. We got Ramondre Stevenson if he plays at 7K. Yep. We got to monitor that one as well. Joe Mixon, $7,200 taking on Tampa. And Latavius Murray, really cheap here, $5,100 taking on the Arizona Cardinals as the Broncos don't have a ton of of skill position players. And we'll see uh, Brett Rippon's going to be under center there. Yeah, he will. Uh, They're going to try to run the ball against Arizona. You could run on that defense. No Mike Boone. We thought he would take on a larger role, but he's out. It's Marlon Mack is next on that depth chart. Divino Zigbo, perhaps up from the practice squad. It should be the Latavius Murray show. And he has not been great, but he's going to get you 15 plus touches and he's 5,100. So I like him. And yeah, you're right. Keep an eye on the new England backfield. If Stevenson does not play Damian Harris, maybe he returns and becomes a value in DFS. If they're both out, then you're looking at guys that are punts, basically Pierre strong. And of course, Kevin Kevin Harris. So, which, you know, good luck picking one of those guys, but uh, they're, you know, they will be punt options are very cheap. They are great insurance backs for the new England Patriots. We don't really want insurance backs here in daily fantasy, but I'll tell you where you do want insurance where maybe on your home, maybe in your home, maybe in your car, maybe you want to save some money on your insurance. Of course you'd want to do that, Mike. And when Mm -hmm. it comes to great rates on insurance, Geico can help like with insurance for your car, your truck, your motorcycle, boat, RV, even help with your homeowners or renters coverage. Plus add an easy to use mobile app available 24 hour roadside assistance and more. And Geico is an easy choice. Switch today and see all the ways that you could save. It's easy. Simply go to Geico.com or contact your local agent today. All right, let's talk some wide receivers here. And now it is time. We are finally talking about the Detroit Lions defense. Elijah Again. Moore. Oh, yeah, that's right. I did talk about it. I, I brought it up earlier on the show talking you just about black, Mike White. You just black out when you talk about it. When them, I say like, bad I things, <laughs> I don't hear it. That's exactly right. But Elijah Moore, Mike, obviously Garrett Wilson, we love him. 
and that's a, it's an, a, a wide receiver that we love in this offense, but $3,600 for Elijah Moore against this Detroit defense. I would say pretty much the entire Jets pa- uh, offense is a value. Is a value. You, can, you can justify Bam Knight, Mike White, Garrett Wilson, even Corey Davis if he plays. Elijah Moore, assuming Corey Davis doesn't play, but even if he does, he's 3600 He's the 45th price wide receiver here. Uh, and Tyler Conklin as well at tight end. I mean, all of the all of all, this whole offense is underpriced, but uh, you look at what Moore has done with Mike White. He had that long touchdown catch in week 12 where he barely played. And then Minnesota had a dud, which scares you a little bit, only seven yards and six targets. But then last week, Corey Davis goes down on the ninth snap of the game. Elijah Moore steps in, plays 82% of the snaps, 10 targets, six catches, 60 yards in that game. And again, he's 3,600. So if he repeats anything close to that and, or finds the end zone, he's going to pay this off. Uh, big time. And by the way, just, just to put some numbers on Detroit struggles, no better than third in receiver uh, receptions, receiving yards, fantasy points allowed, almost 68 fantasy points scored by Minnesota's wide receivers last week. The receivers on both sides were crushing it Crazy. last week. Yeah. And also one more nugget since Moore's come back, he was kind of in the doghouse. He essentially sus- suspended himself for a week, yep. comes back since that point. He's been in the slot 62% of the time. The lines have allowed the most fantasy points to the slot this season. So I'm not this. I'm not as strong on more. If Corey Davis does play, which is possible. I think it's unlikely coming off a concussion. Most guys have missed the game. Yep. Um, But if, if Davis is out, I mean, at 3,600 lock him in in cash. It's such a, it's such an easy free space where there's the volume should be Mm -hmm. there. The matchup should be there. And if he doesn't hit at 3,600, it's not going to crush you like a $6,000 player. You got it. All right, I want to talk about, speaking of $6,000 players, Keenan Allen, $6,800 taken on the Tennessee Titans here. Here's the thing about Keenan Allen, 14 targets in back-to-back games. He is, he is looking fantastic. 20 plus fantasy points in those games as well. Him and Justin Herbert are looking good now that he is back and healthy within this offense. Mike Williams being back, Josh Palmer, the whole offense is starting to roll and Keenan Allen has been a major benefactor from that. The Titans defense that he's facing bottom 10 in passing touchdown rate in yards per pass in yards per completion with the amount of volume that he is just going to get here in this offense at $6,800. I am very happy to be able to pay him off. And someone that if you did like a Derrick Henry might not be a bad opposite side of that game Mm -hmm. to be able to come back with. So love me some Keenan Allen here in this offense. Yep. I was trying to fit him into my lineup. So I foreshadowing, I went another direction, but I like him a lot. If you can find a way to pay, get him in there at 6,800. You like that. All right. A couple other wide receivers that we like this week include Zay Jones at $4,900 taking on Dallas. Chris Godwin, 6,700 against Cincy. Garrett Wilson at 6K against Detroit. Obviously, Nico Collins, oh. if he plays, doesn't sound like he will. But if he does, $4,300 against Kansas City we like. And Deontay Johnson at $5,100 against Carolina with that safe floor that he has. All right, let's talk about some tight ends here to close this out. Mike, Dalton Schultz has been fantastic since coming back from injury. He has looked great. Only $4,400 again this week against the Jacksonville Jaguars. Yeah, he was the number three scoring fantasy tight end last year. And in games with Dak Prescott starting this year, he's the number three scoring fantasy Stop tight it. end, right? So he's kind of picked up where he left off. He just had that long wave there where he was hurt and Dak was PCL out. But otherwise, yeah. yeah, he's been fine. Season highs in targets and receiving yards with 87 last week. And uh, again, by the way, a 20% target share with Dak this season, 6.8 per game. He was at 15% last year. So the target share is up. The, pat, the, the offensive volume is down a little bit, but all in all, again, the fantasy production has been there. Uh, Jags, really bad against tight ends as of late 100 plus yards and a touchdown and 20 or more fantasy points allowed to tight ends in three of their last four games that's a lot 20 points to tight ends three of your last four games Uh, that includes the titans last week they've allowed the highest yards per target to the position the third most yards to the position this season and again a lot of that has come over the last month so uh, Schultz, great matchup, lots of volume, big part of this Dallas offense. And Dallas offense just can't stop scoring touchdowns. Nope. It's like four plus every week. It's unreal. I feel like this is obviously oversimplifying, but um, it's not crazy to think that the last week the Titans ran the ball and threw it to Chico Conquo mm-hmm. a whole bunch. And it feels like the Dallas Cowboys could come in here and run the ball. And Dalton Schultz is a really great play at $4,400. Mm-hmm. Not that we don't like the pass catchers, but it could it could look very similar to what last week looked like. From no doubt. Standpoint. He's only 4400 It's a good price. So I mean, cheap. He's the fifth price tight end at only 4400 It's just like Kelsey and then, you know, Andrew's down a tier and then it's everyone and else. And everyone it's else. A, yeah. Well, another tight end I at least like as well Greg Dulcich I like it. you talked about how bad the Jaguars against tight ends the Arizona Cardinals are even worse against tight end they sure are uh, he is the ninth priced priced tight end on this slate again it's a short slate because there are Saturday games involved mm-hmm. here too so um, but only $3,600 Greg Dulcich was 
pretty fantastic to start the uh, to start his season, not to start the season. His first three games were really great, uh, double digit fantasy points, and then he sort of hit a little bit of a lull, and he's sort of come on here towards the second half of this season. And I I look at him in this role. Eight targets in back-to-back games. No Cortland Sutton this week. I understand that Brett Rippon is going to be under center. I think it would. I would be a little higher if Russell Wilson, maybe not higher, but like I would be a little more excited mm-hmm. if Russell Wilson was under center. But he's someone that's going to continue to get utilized in this offense because other than Jerry Judy, he's like the number two guy. There's no other wide receiver that's really stepped up for that role. That's exactly right. He's not really lining up in line. He's going to line up in the slot. Like he's their number two wide receiver right now. Right. So there's no doubt about it. The the target volume should be there for $3,600. And the you, matchup. If yeah. you can't get someone like Dalton Schultz in a cheaper mm-hmm. price to be able to go, we also like a couple other players. You already said him like Tyler Conklin, $3,100. If you need a cheap tight end mm-hmm. against the Detroit Lions, great way to go. Evan Ingram after a How did he do last week? week? Yeah. <laughs> I think he was the number one overall fantasy player last he week. He was. Not just tight end. No. Not number just one good. overall. Are we including quarterbacks? We yes, are. we are. Yes, we are. <laughs> Uh, what a week. $3,800 against Dallas. And then Kate Otten, $2,900 against Cincinnati. If you like him there as well. I do. We have now reached the time of the show, Mike, where you're going to give me a head to head lineup. You've already officially won the season, the regular oh, season. Okay. Being up 10, like four, but uh, why don't you give us your head to head lineup here with some of those big named guys. You All right. Had. Yeah. We're going to get back on track here. Jalen hurts is the quarterback again. I'm going to pay up for him. You can do, I mean, you could pay down for Mike white if you want, which you're going to do and, and oh, put together alert. a pretty nice, uh, lineup, but uh, you don't have to. You can pay up for Hertz this week. Uh, running backs: James Conner, uh, Latavius Murray, and Derrick Henry. I'm going to use three running backs. Oh go with goodness. Henry in the flex. I love Murray at 5100. It's just too low. And Conner. I mean, he's been top five basically. You know, since he's been back and fully healthy, he's been awesome. Yeah. Uh, where I'm going to save a little receiver, I'm go- I can get Chris Godwin in there, which is fantastic. He's going to get a lot of volume. Uh, Elijah Moore. Zay Jones are obviously cheaper options. Zay's been awesome as well. Dalton Schultz at, at tight end and then punting Tennessee. That's an interesting one. I have Henry. This is something you do in tournaments, uh-huh. right? The defense, the defense with the it. running back that just worked out that way. If they're competitive with the chargers and can run the ball and uh, maybe force a couple turnovers that could work out. If not, 2200 the reason why we do that in tournaments mike if there's just a really heavy ground game if you're talking about ground control you would think that the defense would be on the field less so hopefully Mm -hmm. a less scoring game just in case anyone was wondering yeah teams run more when they're ahead right you always hear them stats like when they run for 100 they have a really good record that's because of game script every time (laughs) all right let's talk about my head-to-head lineup even though you made fun of starting mike white Uh, i didn't make fun of it you just said if you want to pay down you can can. can i'm gonna try to do it here i'm gonna set a tournament lineup by the way the same way that al usually does with a double stack a comeback and a secondary stack i see it so i got mike white at fifty four hundred dollars with garrett wilson and elijah moore my comeback there is amon ross st brown at seventy eight hundred dollars I've got Derrick Henry at 8K with my secondary stack being Keenan Allen in the mm-hmm. flex, $6,800. My second running back is Isaiah Pacheco at 5,900 with Greg Dulcich at tight end. And then I didn't really know where to go at defense. Honestly, I'm, I'm going to yeah. keep going back and forth and looking at what I have, but I like Atlanta taking on, like, listen, Andy Dalton throws interceptions. He might throw four this week. <laughs> and why not? And yeah. so why not go with the Atlanta Falcons? We'll see what happens. Last month, who last month in the NFL, who is allowing the fewest fantasy points to wide receivers? Um, the Atlanta, the Atlanta Falcons. Falcons. I knew that. Trending up. They're going no the right big way. Big deal. All right. And like we said, Kyle Soppy filled in for Al Zeidenfeld this week, wrote the Best Buys column for ESPN Plus. So go check that out. Kyle's lineup, because we want to throw it out there, give him a shout out. He's got Justin Herbert, $7,200 with Mike Williams as his wide receiver there. Uh, his running backs, Miles Sanders and Isaiah Pacheco. Christian Kirk, Chris Olave. I already said Mike Williams. He's got Chig Okonkwo and Michael Gallup, $4,500. And going with the Jets defense. The Jets defense against my Detroit Lions. Paying up against the Lions offense. Bold move. Wow. That's That's a tournament only move right there. I went out of the way. I went out of my way to make sure Kyle got his lineup right online. And he's starting the Jets. He can't hear us, so you could just say lots of negative stuff right now. What a jerk. We love Kyle Sapi. He works so freaking hard for us. All right. For Mike and Al, who is not here, but hopefully we we need a bunch of money. And for Kyle, we want to say thank you so much for hanging out with us. Hopefully you'll hang out and do more DFS. We love you guys. Don't forget to love each other. Be kind to yourself. Good luck here in week 15, and we will see you next week.